about my um, crochet braids that I did these are crochet braids I do have a little bit of leave out at the top just to cover it and yeah right now I just have it in a ponytail a cute little ponytail just so that it's manageable but I'm going to basically show you guys a clip of how I got this nice sleek well I'm not going to show you the hairstyle that will be in another video so make sure you check for that but I'm going to show you how I got my crochet braids to be nice and sleek to where I wear it and it looks like Brazilian hair dancing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you guys after. Later. Okay guys, so this is my braid pattern right here. It was super late at night. It was like 12 o'clock when I started. So yeah, I didn't really get any good footage because it was so late and I wasn't really in my right mind. But I have a lot, I have hair left out around the perimeter and then I have the two pieces in the middle for my leave out in the middle, for my middle part. And this is just showing you guys that I already went ahead and did a few of um, the sides. And moving on, you see that I did basically the whole, I think that's the right side of my head. But yeah, I have one side completed. By then it was about 4 o'clock in the morning. So I took a nap and I finished recording the rest in the morning when I woke up around 10 o'clock. Okay, I'm almost done. Don't mind this. I was swatching at the makeup, I mean at the hair store because I had to buy some more packs. But I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing my... Uh, crochet braids this entire time hopefully you guys can see this so when I do this outside right here I make sure that I do the invisible like I'll show you guys right here see how that's invisible knots so when I do the outside I do invisible knots but when I just do the inside like all around here I just do regular knots so let me show you how I do this inside and I'm doing this with a bobby pin you guys so I just go in underneath the braid. Okay, there's the bobby pin. My phone for some reason stopped recording, guys. So we're gonna do this over. Again. All right. So I don't know if you can see this, but I just did this one. I'm gonna do another one. Well, two more. So you wanna take it, put it through the loop. You got the bobby pin. You're gonna take a piece of your hair. You're gonna have your hair looped like this and then the other end like this. You can taper it if you want to, but I didn't taper mine. I'll just do that all in the end and just cut it. Take it. You wanna make sure you get it through the loop nice because you don't want it to mess up. Get it through the loop of the bobby pin. You want to just take your bobby pin and pull it back through. 
and you have this securely in your braid and you just want to once you want to twist it in twice Okay, you guys, so this is basically just a sped up version. I'm showing you the same thing. Now, when you do do it like this, the knots will show. So I'm just showing you guys, this is pretty much what I did throughout my entire head. But when I get to the perimeter, I do a different thing. I try to do a knotless, um, a knotless crochet braid. So you will see an example of that very soon. Like I said, don't mind my face. I was watching makeup at the hair store. But just so you guys know, this is the kind of hair I was using. Oops, my back up. This is the kind of hair I was using. It's just the 100% Kenicolon on hair. It's 100% Kenicolon on hair, jumbo braid, Remy Touch, I guess that's what it is from the Janet collection. So yeah, just so you guys can see that. So that is the hair I'll be using. I'm going to finish this up right here by using my invisible part method. And then I'll come back here and show you guys exactly what I did. So unfortunately it wasn't recording, but I did this piece. We're gonna see if I can get this one and also neat. So you see this end piece right here? You don't want it to be on this side. You want this end piece to be on this side because you want your tail end to end up on this side over here. So in order to do that, you're going to have to make sure that the loop, you can loop it through this way. So what I'm going to do is just put it through right here. Then you're going to take this end like you did the other one. You're going to squeeze it together. At least that's what I do just to get it through the loop. make sure and you want to make sure you get all of this through the bobby pin so take your time so, so you have this through the bobby pin now and you're just going to pull it through yeah. all right okay now that you have that through, now that you have that through, you just want to take half of this section, split it in half. This section, this section right here, you can just put back there. You want to loop this part right here through. I like to pull it a little bit. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three. Then you're just gonna take this other section right here and you're just gonna pull. And there you have it. See how that bends over like that? Alrighty, so I'm just going to do another example for you guys. But of course, this one is going to be sped up. And once again, and this is just basically how I do my knotless um, crochet braid and I only do this really around the perimeter just so that when I um, press my leave out out it could blend a little bit more flawlessly you don't have to do this if you have leave out but I just like the way it looks more okay you guys so this is the finished look um, this I am going to do straighten it and stuff later but I just want to show you guys see right here well let me take this out see right here how it looks now see how that looks i could have very well just worn it without any leave out but i just did it because this is my first time ever doing crochet braids but see how that looks okay so yeah that's pretty much it i want to show you guys actually how much flipping hair this is this is a lot let's look this is a lot of hair so I am going to go and I'm gonna go take a shower 
I'm just going to I'm just going to band two knot two spoke for the sides. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to come back. I'm going to straighten my leave out. Um, I'm also going to try. Gosh, it's like hair everywhere. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to do all that stuff. I'm going to clean up first, then take a shower, then do my leave out and everything. And I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm also going to um, flat iron this hair. I'm going to blow dry, flat iron it, and see how sleek I can get it. And then I'm going to go through and um not cut layers because that's going to make it even thicker but i'm going to go through and like try to thin it out so i'll come back to you guys after i have done all of that well i'll come back to you guys when, once i start working on the hair again so i'll be right back but yeah just before i do that i want to show you guys how thick it is there's a lot of hair guys look at this all right so i'll be back All right, y'all, so I'm just coming back real quick. Um, I have this side completely uh, blow dried and flat ironed and stuff. So now that I've gotten the hang of it, I'm going to show you on this side exactly what I do. And then I'm going to flat iron my leave out just to give it a finished look. And I'll get back to you guys with that. So I'm just going to take this out. Okay, you guys, so basically in order to blow dry my hair, I just used the tension method and then went through with a brush. So like you see right here, I'm just using the, temp um, the tension method and you have the I have my blow dryer on the highest, highest setting for each one. And I just hold the end, blow dry, and then go back through with my brush. And then I blow dry it using the brush as a guide. And I'm also going to show you guys this again just so you can see how I'm doing it and kind of get the hang of it. So what I'm going to do again is I take down my little section and then I'm going to section that off, clip that to the side. Now I'm going to use the tension method on the highest setting to blow dry it one time. Then once I get done doing that, I'm going to take a brush, go through it just to detangle it. Then I'm going to use that and just blow dry it with the chase method. And now I'm just going to show you guys the rest of my hair. Like I said, it was a really quick short because you only need a couple of um, examples on how I did it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And I hope you guys like this hairstyle because I will be giving you guys a tutorial on how I got this hairstyle along with other ones. It's just going to be a tutorial on how to style your um, crochet braids. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can go and see that video that's coming soon. I hope you guys like the video today. Hope you guys have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.